Welcome to Combat Zone. So you heard a little bit of what we were doing before, but you know, just wanted to walk you guys through the basic rules as to how Combat Zone works. Um, and then uh, talk through a little bit. Are you familiar with the background of Cyberpunk a bit? Oh yeah. Very good. So if I say that we're fighting in the Combat Zone, you know that outside of Night City it's just like Correct. burnt out, urban sprawl, lawless zones, and, and basically this is a gang warfare game. So we want to be able to give you guys a fast, splashy experience to be able to run in and have a quick battle. Um, it's a great one-off game if you just want to throw models on the table and throw some dice to see what happens. But we also built this to be a campaign game. So you can build and grow, you know, your gang of Maelstrom guys or my gang of Tiger's Claws we play. Um, you do that through a number of different methods uh, during play in addition to your scenario objectives for winning games. We also have additional objectives that are specific to your, uh, your gang. And then achieving these objectives during gameplay uh, give your team rewards. And those rewards carry with you game to game to game as you go. So these will be additional bonuses and upgrades that you'll be able to take with you as you play. In addition to that, building out a gang, uh, you also have customizable gear. Every gang has its own unique uh, lists of basic weapons and gear and additional items that they're able to take. This also includes specialist programs, so if you're running with Netrunners or if you want to hack any models, there's different cool things you can interact with. But right now, we're just going to get into the basics of play. So, Go ahead and grab a model on your side, and we're going to just throw you straight into the action. So, which model would you want to activate first? We're going to pick a fight with the Tiger's Claw. Okay. Okay. All right, so we start with our Ripper, so you can be yep, our guy I down here, him. okay? So if you notice on your card, there's a number of colored icons that are matched by a couple of tokens. Those tokens are action tokens. So those tokens are going to be used to basically navigate and play and fight. Every time you want to move, every time you want to shoot, every time you want to throw a fist at somebody, you're going to be utilizing a token and spending an action to do so. And the way the reaction system works is that the color of token that you're flipping is going to be related to a color of thing that you're going to be using. So if I want to move, I can flip a yellow token and move up to yellow distance on one of my models in order to take that action. Or, conversely, when taking an action and making a skill check, I take the same color dice, and that's the dice then that I'm throwing when I'm making my skill checks. So pretty straightforward stuff. Everybody in this game is considered to have a sidearm, so everybody can make a ranged attack at yellow no matter what. You got a pistol, you got a rock, you're going to throw it, you're going to do something, okay? You can also throw your fist out at anybody and hit somebody even if you don't have a dedicated weapon associated with your model or a specialist piece of gear. But everybody's model on this side has specialty gear actions based with specialty weapons that their models are already equipped with. So the Ripper, even though he's got a sidearm, also has a Wolver. So he's got a nice retractable blade in his arm. So he's great for close combat and he's got a great specialty uh, ability. So when he's rolling crits, he actually does double damage. And in this game, all those extra wounds really count up quickly. All right, so Ripper, Ripper's going to go. Is he going to go jumping into combat and go punch somebody, or what's he yeah, got going? Yeah, he's going to try to get over to this one here. Absolutely. So go ahead and flip a yellow token over there, show that you're going to be moving. That tells me that that token has been spent. And then go ahead and lay down your ruler with the black tip touching the model and the yellow on the other side. Please forgive the direction of the arrows. That was a misprint. We actually flipped those in the game. <laughs> so... So, yeah, so as long as you end up within red distance, you can make a melee attack at an enemy. Wow. So it ended here? Yep. So we're going to pop that out and drop him out. All right. And then I presume that he wants to make a, uh, a melee attack against the, uh, the boss there. Correct. Cool. So let's go ahead and flip that other token and let's make a strike. So go ahead and grab a yellow dice and throw it. All right. So your number is five and you're going to add your melee skill. So if you look at your card, you see a little fist there. Two. All right. That's your modifier and that's going to turn that into a seven. So I'm going to defend. So on my side, and forgive me, I don't have my tokens out right now. She has two green and a yellow. When making a defensive roll, I determine what color of dice I want to throw based on what dice I'm wagering. I don't spend it as an action. So in place of, you know, you rolled a relatively high number, I could throw a green dice against that for defense, thinking that I'm going to get out of the way. But instead, I'm going to roll a yellow because if I lose it, I don't feel bad about losing a yellow. I do feel bad about losing a green. Right? So I'm going to roll this, and I roll a seven. And she's going to use her melee skill of two and end up with a nine. So I'm, I'm going to beat the attack. She parries the blow. You know, everything's good. Your guy has spent all of his actions. So now after he's expended, it now goes to me, and I get to take the turn. Okay. So I'm going to now pick a model from my side to go. Now, can um, I hold an action if I want to? Always, yes. Yeah, you can look at a model who's got three actions and spend one of them and just sit on the other two. But it would be, it'd be one, one player. So, so I could say if you had three, I could do two right now, save that one for later, and come back later and use them again, right? You can come back later and use it again, or you save them, because part of what we call our reaction system is that if your model, under attack, takes damage, they can spend any unspent action on their card to take a reaction. They can dive into an alley. They can pull out a blade and take a whack at you in the process. They can do a couple of things extra. So we want to make sure that making decisions and making attacks against enemies always has a bit of a, uh, a risk factor to it. So I'm going to activate my basic Kyodai. He has two yellow actions as well. I'm going to spend my first yellow action to go ahead and dive over cover at you. So 
This first action actually requires a skill check on my part, just because I want to illustrate it. He has a basic um, reflex skill of one, so I'm going to roll a dice and add one to it, making that a six. And then you roll the black dice. The black dice is our obstacle dice. So whenever somebody's doing something like leaping through a building or doing something crazy, that dice opposes my ability. So in trying to leap over this thing, I didn't beat an eight. So my guy just gonna go slump and then his, his movement immediately ends. He just hits the wall and kind of goes, Whoa, you know, and does his thing. However, he is close enough to take a melee strike at you anyway. So he's gonna long arm with his blade and try to reach out and tag you. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll that yellow dice on my second action and make an attack and I roll a two. My melee skill is two, makes it a four. So go ahead and make a defensive roll. And you have yellow actions. So you roll a one, which is a fumble. So that counts as an automatic fail. Now, in wagering that yellow, we're going to go ahead and replace one of those actions with a spent red action. And that is going to count as your wound mark. Okay? So my guy's totally spent. It is now your turn to take an action or activate a model. Okay, I'm going to activate a shoot to him. Okay. So that's the specialist right there in front of you. He's got three yellow actions. All right. So if you take a look at his card, he's got gear actions at the bottom to tell you what his weapon does. Now, the assault rifle within uh, yellow to green range, which is where this model is, can make rapid fire attacks, which means every action he takes is actually two shots. Okay. So go ahead and start taking attacks at me, and let's start with our first yellow attack, and then you'll get a free yellow attack right after that. Five. And Five. His, his range attack is skill two. two. Makes it a seven. Okay. Okay, I only have yellow on the defense, and I roll a five. Now, in the defense, I use my agility initially uh, to add to my defense roll. So five and three becomes an eight. Plus, every piece of intervening terrain between you and I adds one more to my defense roll against range attacks. So he's actually a plus four to his range attack defense, making him a nine. Okay. So the first one, he ducks behind cover, and he's fine. But you get a free attack. Okay, so that's a six and an eight. And I get to add plus four, making that a 12. This time. Normally, this guy gets gunned down. That's only his first action, so do it again. You get another two shots at me. All right, he takes it a five, and I roll an eight. Now you can always, yeah. Okay, that's Six, better, that's an seven, eight. eight. And I, that's not enough. So my guy takes his first wound, and the Ronin is now marked. And I'll hold my, my Okay, action. hold your last action, so that passes the turn to me, and then I'm gonna activate a model. So the, do the wound counters negate your actions then? Or is it, is it, is it, you're just, you well, replaced it as on the card? Yeah, you replaced it on the card. So in this case, I, you know, he would have two more yellow actions that he has not spent yet, but that wound that he has taken has also just taken one of his uh, actions away as well, right? And so eventually when I refresh, this list will come back around, assuming he's still alive and become a red action as opposed to a yellow one from previous. So then it rolls a lower dice. Yep. And, and, and just so you know, if you ever fail, yeah, if you ever fail a, uh, if you ever fail a defense roll on a red dice, your model's removed from play. Some people like to take that risk, so, you know, or you, oh, if you have no other choice. Okay. okay. All right, so, so I'm not... You, you have to kind of, yeah, you got to get a you know, wager. Yep. It's, it's always a little bit of a guess and a gamble, which kind of makes the game sort of fun. You want to try right. for a minute? Sure. Yep. Yeah. All right, so... Wait, what do we got? So you've activated this guy. Yes. Yep, so... Where's, where's Hammer? That's this dude right here, right? that guy. So I'm going to activate a model. Uh, I'm going to roll up with my Onesan. She's going to spend one of her yellow to uh, move, and she's going to move into cover here. And then I'm going to spend an additional yellow action, and she's going to make a assault rifle attack um, against your specialist who's behind cover. Okay. okay. So I'm going to roll a yellow dice for my initial attack, rolling a four. She's got a range skill of two, making that a six. So your guy gets to make a defense roll. You don't flip the token. Okay. You're, you're just basically rolling the dice as a wager. And gotcha. you're going to add your uh, reflex skill and which your is, cover, which, which is, is the wall. Two, right? Right. So two plus one for the wall is three. Okay. Plenty. Got okay. out of the way. Okay. Yep. It's rapid fire, so I take a second attack, and it's a critical hit. Critical hits are automatic unless you have a critical defense. So you need to roll a defense roll, and on an eight, you're good. So he is going to take a hit for that, and and we're going to replace. You can replace any of these. So if you want to keep that active? That's fine. We we'll just pull that one out, and that scores a hit. And then she's done activating. It's now your turn to activate them all. Okay. So we'll activate. Uh, so can you pre-measure? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm assuming this guy. So if you're like, if I want to move yellow, can I yeah, get there? can I get like, there? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so yellow gets you to jog up. So he's gonna go ahead and use the yellow yep. to get to this guy. Get in there. All right. Now his his weapon. He has an equipped weapon called a sledgehammer, and the, the weapon has a uh, one of its uh, uh, keywords is difficult, which means he gets to make one attack with a sledgehammer when he makes it. But when he makes his attack, the, the attack is deadly and it also stuns the enemy. So it is a big attack. Yes. So I recommend rolling the biggest dice you got at me. Yep. So we'll throw the the, the d12. Perfect. And adding two. Yep. Okay. Adding two. So there you go. Nice, 13. Okay, that sucks for me. Uh, <laughs> I got a melee skill of two. Let's hope I roll really high. I do not. I roll a 12, so I miss. 
So that is now doing two wounds to me. I wagered a green, so I'm going to automatically lose one of my green actions, leaving me a green and a yellow. I'm going to replace my yellow action with the other wound that I have to take. And then that green action that I still had available because of the stun gets flipped. And, and now I can't do anything. Yeah. So there are weapons that are just specifically stun, like stun grenades, stun batons, that just take away action. And that's, and that's and that's because of the so what is the a third wound I'm still alive, but if I fail a red roll on defense, that's what it And what does deadly do? So deadly does the two wounds as opposed to one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So, so he's got an action left. Punch me again. Can I punch you again? But yeah. I can't use the hammer. Correct. But it's just a basic melee strike, just right? Just a melee strike. He's got okay. a lead pipe. He's got a fist. So seven and two is nine. Yep. And I'm not going to roll a red. I'm going to roll a green. So nine. And she's got a five plus two is seven and not enough. So she wagered her green and she takes a wound. And now she's totally boxed out. She's not dead, but she is beat up bad. Okay. And he's out of activation. All right. So actions come back to me. I look at my cards and I'm like, ouch. So, I can at any time refresh my cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this action right now, and I'm gonna hand the turn back to you and ho hope I survive this next round. Okay, so that just, that completely removes it. Okay, so yep. where's this letter? She's over here. Yep, that's your blinzer. Okay, so, oh, she's got a, she's a wolver as well. Yep, just, everybody's got a pistol. I mean, they can take a shot at me when they want to. But, uh, yeah, but yeah. why would we take shots when we got that wolver thing there? Yes, yeah. This so, stuff is all printed on a hard MDF. Uh, the stuff you're going to get in the box is going to be like a heavy uh, card stock, but it's the same thickness and the same print type. She's going to move up to, to her and then use uh, the green to attack. Okay, take a green attack. So five and two is seven. Okay, so my Nissan rolls a six and her melee is one, makes it a seven. So, so ties tie go to but go to defender. Uh, and we'll go ahead, since you're all beat up, we'll go ahead and use the yellow. Okay. Fail. And that's a fumble. I don't need to roll because that's an automatic failure. Okay. Okay, come back to me. Got all my guys refreshed. My Oya Boone's got nothing but red dice, and she's really, really pissed. So we're gonna roll red dice and try to hit your hammer lord. So first red dice, swinging with her mono katana. Kashing! That's a crit hit. Now, this is where the gamble pays off, where I'm like, well, if I got red dice, I might get lucky. Hey nobody. Sure. Um, go ahead and take a take a defense roll. You need a crit in order to defend. Nope, not enough. So a critical hit from a mono katana is deadly and has pierce, which means it ignores your armor. So your character takes two wounds, uh, and you roll to yellow, right? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and pull a couple of wound markers here. So they just go away. Yep. Yep, yep. just like that. And then, uh, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna do it again. Katana, strike! All right, I hit you for a four. Gonna make a defense roll. So I, if I burn one of these, I die if I fail. Correct. So we'll use this. Absolutely. Danger there you go. Yep, he's good. All right, and one more time. Last tack. Hacha! Take that for seven. Oh, critical. All right. I love how you rolled the critical. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'll take another hand. Everything's good. Okay, so that was her being sparky. She spent all of her actions. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, and it's now your turn to take an action. Go ahead. Take an action. So they're all full, so you have to refresh, right? Correct. Re refreshing would be so the next just step. Go ahead and flip all the tokens over. There you go. I like it. It's cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, yeah like, like I said, um, if you guys want to get in on the leftovers of the Kickstarter, I'm that's still on pre-order right now through the website. The leftovers, that makes me feel wonderful. Not leftovers. Baby. I totally, I totally <laughs> lost. You already said it. You already said it. You already said it. The remainder, if you wanted to jump in with all the stretch goals. How much are the leftovers? Well, the stretch goals, I mean, you get a lot if you guys, of If you guys jump in, we still have the so pledge manager open. So the, the starter sets and all the basic the uh, pitches are still there, and we're planning on a spring uh, launch for everybody uh, for delivery. So the lowest, best level is 120 bucks, and it's the core game and all the stretch goals. So you get like 40 models and like a bunch of terrain stuff. There's a lot. I was going to ask if it came with terrain, too. Yeah, well, yeah, all this comes in the basic core game. This is the entire starter. You double this in, in, the, in the Kickstarter version. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I've refreshed. Uh, okay. So you're going to refresh? All right. I'm going to activate so my it's very fuel die. He's going to spend a yellow action. He's going to run around, around this time. It's, it's, and then I'm going to take a swing at your guy with a sword. It's a very cyberpunk thing. Two. All right. And total rolls of four. So go to your defender, which is your ripper, who's got a yellow and a red. And you can choose which dice you're going to roll to defend yourself. You said all the... All the the plastic uh, so and stuff is in the Kickstarter as well? Yeah, the, 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 the Kickstarter bundle uh, with all the stuff yeah, yeah, it gives you a ton, ton of That's stuff. Awesome. Yeah, you so get twice this amount. Five and then with the melee, right? Yeah, okay, so that'd yep. be a seven. You got it. Cool. Is it an Eopri mat and everything in the Kickstarter? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if, if the mat that you get is upgraded to neoprene. Um, 
I think these are all uh, sold out, so we do double on these, but you do get twice the scenery in the buildings and the other elements. We do have the neoprene mats in the Kickstarter that you can buy. Is they're that double sided? Right? Yeah, they're all double sided. Okay. All right. So, oh, that was me. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, okay. uh, and and a uh, there's a bucket of additional models. We basically gave away a free model a day. So there's like all of these. Oh, I, I followed it. Or... So I was telling him the the video that they didn't click with me like that did. So oh. that's why I didn't do it. Oh no, I totally get it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you guys pick it up over the weekend and come back and show us that you that you got in on it, we sure. also have a free blister of miles for you to get you too. Sure. One of our one of our little products. So. Yep, just come back and show us the machine where you get your free blister fix. Sweet. Okay. Hey, thanks for the time. Oh, no, thank you. That's very cool. Yes. All right, we'll use a uh, we'll use hammer All right. So that's a. Uh, so we can only use a sledgehammer. You can only use it once, but you can keep punching into the other stuff too. Oh, cool. But that green dice is going to make a mess out of her because she's down to reds all around. So. Cool. All right. Squish. What was that? Five and a. Uh, makes that a seven? Seven. All right, I got a red dice. Here she goes. Yeah! Four, five, six, not enough. She's gone. Removed from play. Sledgehammer oh, action. Oh. So hear the sound and cut. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you got more actions. You got two red actions. Uh, you can literally spend a red, walk over here, and punch that guy in the head. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's do it. Uh, it's close enough, right? I'm angry. Maelstrom. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. So, flip, flip a red token. Show me you spent that, and then flip the other one to show me you're gonna punch me in the face. All right. Hassan shot five seven. seven. All right. My kill die is still fresh. He's gonna roll a yellow dice. Three five. Uh, not enough. So I'm gonna take a wound from your attack. All right. And that's it for mine. So back to you. Good sir. How are you? Good. All right. That was you. Yep. Okay. We've got our Ronin Assassin here. He's gonna go ahead and blow a yellow, and we are gonna jog over and try to help our buddies. Commence jogging. All right, he's gonna run up over here, and we are going to attack your Ripper uh, with a yellow attack with his katana. So, so roll three, four, five. Make a defense roll against a five on your Ripper. He still has a yellow, so. Yep. So you get a nine, that's a good defense. All right, and then my last available action is a red, and I do the same thing. I roll a two, and it's a four. I can still use the yellow. Yep, right? still use the yellow until it goes away. Uh, two in. Now we have two is four, so defense goes to you. You're good to go. All right, your turn to activate the model. All right, well, we're going to use them turn around and smack you in the face. Do it to it. <laughs> Let's go, Ripper. No, Fumble. Oof. All right, you got one more attack, though. All right. All right, five, and I roll seven. I got you. All right, cool. So yeah, this is the this is the flow of combat zone, man. This is kind of the back and forth. And so is it just the Nostron and the Tiger Claws? Have you got the Valentinos, the Cops, everything? So so this 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 setting for combat zone is in the time of the red, which is before the 2077 video game, but it's still some of the same games. So the the, the core game gives you Maelstrom and Tiger's Claws. In addition to that, we've got eight games at launch. So we've got a game called the Gen Red, which are basically a bunch of uh, street kids that are running around, but they're very tech savvy. They do some really cool stuff. We've got lawmen, we've got an Arasaka intervention team, we've got uh, a guardian gang, we've got um, bozos, and we've got all kinds of cool stuff that are in there, so it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. So we'll be launching with a bunch of fresh games, and like I said, that entire range of miniatures back there, we've got rules for everything. So those are your mercs, those are your net runners, those are your uh, your edge runners that are that you add into your games for extra flavor. Yeah, so if you want to <laughs> run with a couple of med techs, or, you know, we've even got... Uh, um, uh, so they didn't play this up in the 2077 games, but in the role-playing game, there's a group called the uh, Danger Gals, which is a private tech detective agency. It's all girls. They run around with cat ears and machine guns. It's the coolest thing in the world. we got a gang of them coming out, too. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun. That was your idea, wasn't it? Quite you. <laughs> was it? All right, Cyberpunk Red, still no. on Kickstarter. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so not on Kickstarter, but the Kickstarter pledge manager is still Kickstarter open. Kickstarter pledge manager is still open, monsterfightclub.com. All the details are there. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir.